Hey everybody, this is Jordan Rudis here, president of Wisdom Music and keyboardist with Dream Theater. I have a new album and app out. The app is called Jordan Rudis Explores, and it's an app that actually features the music of All That Is Now, my new piano album. And today I'd like to take you through the app. I'm really excited about it. When I had the idea to make this album, I also wanted to make an interactive app. Being the app guy that I am, I thought it only made sense for me to put out new solo music as an interactive experience. So what we did is we created an app that lets you go in and use simple gestures to modify the music, change it, have fun with it. And in the end, you can share it through social media to like Twitter and Facebook. So let's dive in and check it out. Let's dive in, touch the icon. First thing you'll notice is that we recommend headphones. It'll be a better listening experience for sure. And also it'll show you that we worked with Isotope, a great company that makes wonderful effects. And then you can sit and stare at this screen if you want to for a while, but I would recommend just hitting the play button and letting the music begin. It will show you the name of the song that you're listening to at the top, State of Being. If you just touch that, It'll give you a nice little um, verbiage. You have arrived here. This is the moment. All that is now. Perfect. And this app, of course, is based on the music from All That Is Now, my new piano solo album. Touch again, and you'll close it. You'll also notice that you have three nodes, and they'll bring up the menus, so you can feel free to check them out. You touch them once to open it. You touch them again to close it. So at the top, you'll see the treble clef. And if you touch that, you can see all the songs that are within the app. The app comes with 10 songs, but we also offer other ones that you can purchase. Like if you touch one that, that's grayed out, it'll say purchase. And if you happen to hit that, well, then you'll actually need to uh, spend the $3.99 and you can buy all the songs. Um, so let's check it out. So you can touch any of these and it'll turn this kind of orangey color until it's totally active and then it'll change color and it'll show you the name of the song. So first thing I want you to check out is the fact that you can really explore here. You can close this menu and then you can touch the screen. If you just tap it anywhere it's going to bring in interesting effects. Just a single tap will do it. On the bottom of the screen there's one main zone and every time you touch it it will randomly cycle through all these cool effects, some things that are glitchy, some things that are phasey, echoey. It's a lot of fun just to check out what's gonna happen. You can also just take your finger and like swipe. And that's gonna do a nice filtering effect. And what's cool is you can touch any point of the filter. So you're basically combining effects right now between your tapping and your swiping gesture. You can also tap at the top of the screen, and there are three zones at the top of the screen. Touch there, it'll do one kind of effect. It's like a phasing. Press it again, it'll go off. Press here, it'll do like a high-pass filter effect. Again, it goes off. And this is more like a distortion kind of an effect. So, you know, the whole idea of this is that you're basically tapping, you're playing around, because a lot of things are randomized, and that's how we wanted it to actually be presented. Um, after all, it is exploring. So the next icon down is the um, ambient packs. And we've got some great ambient packs by some wonderful artists like Richard Devine and uh, Raffaello Pavesi and Heaviosity. Uh, we did some in-house. Um, to get them going, you can just tap one. There's a couple of uh, banks that come for free. And then you can tap one of the little circles and it'll begin playing an ambient track. Uh, a lot of the ambient tracks on here are for purchase, so like if you hit something like the uh, Raffaello one, it'll ask you if you want to purchase it or preview it. So, cool. So now that we have an ambient track playing, let's go over here for a second, open this menu, and the top icon is actually our ambient sound volume, right? While we're on this menu, I'll show you that you can also press here. And these two are actually audio stems or other tracks that I recorded that are actually not on the piano solo album that's available only on the app. Um, and you can bring those in 
with these sliders. Some very subtle pads, some spacey effects. And again, you don't really need to know the technical details here, but you know, it's nice to, uh, nice to know that and I'm doing this video, so I'll tell you. Okay, so we can turn down the backing tracks, we can turn down the ambient tracks a little bit. And here are the isotope effects. Um, this one is your delay, and every time you turn it on and off, it's actually going to be a different setting of the delay, which is pretty cool. And this is the amount, kind of like the wet-dry amount. And here's your reverb, right? So we can put it in a reverb, and every time you turn that on and off, it'll be a different setting of the reverb. So that's basically what that menu is about. We can close the menu by clicking here, and we can look again at this menu. I showed you this. This is where the ambient packs all are. But I didn't show you this yet. This is really nice because, you know, depending on your mood, you might want to see and experience a different visual when you're using your gestures to change the sound. And that sound is the lovely tone of my iPhone, meaning that I need to show you the flame effect. And it kind of fades in in this very subtle way. I like this one especially because it's a picture of me. And again, you can close out this menu by just touching right there. Great. And we move on to another song now. There we go. Now we're listening to Flash of Hope. So feel free to check out all these visualizations. And when you get something really cool, you can decide to share it with your friends as well. And that's all about the recording. So let's say you're moving it around, you've got some various ambient things going on, you have background audio tracks happening, you go, oh my God, this thing is crazy. Look what I did, look how I destroyed Jordan's music. Look how I made it better. Look at the amazing things I'm doing. You might wanna go in and just press record. And then it begins a 30 second record cycle so as you're playing and doing your thing, everything you're doing is being completely recorded. Whether you add backing tracks, whether you turn on the reverb, all of it is being recorded, right? You can close this. We can go back here, look and see how it's going. Okay, now it's finishing up. There it's recorded, you get a check mark. And then this little arrow basically means that you'd be able to share it. Well, I'm not online, so it's not gonna go anywhere right now. But if I was online, that would be the way you'd get it up to Facebook uh, and Twitter and various sharing places. So let's say you have these effects and you say, you know what, I don't wanna hear those effects anymore in this song. What you can do is, you see this little arrow here? Just hit that. And it'll bring it back to normal. It won't turn off the audio stems or the ambience. We can take those off this way. But now it's completely normal. So it'll take away any gestures that you did, right? And of course you can pause. That's always a good thing to know. And if you have some questions about what's going on, you can hit this question mark. And there's a little tutorial here as well. And it'll tell you really what these menus are all about. If you touch one of them, it'll give you a visualization of the fact that there are three zones here, one zone here, and we're encouraging you to explore. It'll show you, you can swipe as well. Here is a very important page. These are the credits. We work with some really great people. Of course, uh, my buddy Joe Zopku, he, um, he developed the app with uh, fantastic help from Jeff Miller, a very creative guy. Uh, over at JM Creative, helped us with the interface and the user experience. Um, Chris Rice did a bunch of really cool effects. He's from the Holderness Media Group. And, uh, and you can read all about it here. The buddy who's filming me over my shoulder is also uh, the one who recorded the piano in all its beauty, my Steinway Grand. And um, yeah, so that's a little bit about the app. So I encourage you to go in, press some things, swipe around, Listen to the different songs like that. Listen to the various ambient packs like this. Go in, try different visualizations. And when you're really happy with it, do hit the record button and watch it record. 
and then send it to your friends and spread the word. So I hope you enjoy the music. And my friends, as usual, I will see you on the road.